Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Hi, Bailey. Oh, you're just excited. <laughs> Baby, I like toilet. Laptop. Laptop. What? Laptop. What is it? Where? For the computer oh, in the box. Yeah, it's Kim. You need to pay. Okay. okay. I will. I'm How much? Who's you? Who? What? You, uh, the crystal tree. How much are you asking for it? Trois dollars. Oui. Ok. Oui. Pour les gros items, c'est trois dollars. Pour les petits, c'est un dollar. Ok. Parfait. Mais ça, je vais le prendre. Ok. Je ne sais pas si je voulais me l'envelopper. Ça va là-dedans, je pense. Oui. oui. Ça, je vais le prendre, c'est ça. Ça, c'est wow! C'est une guirlande. Oui, elle est, est, est différente. J'ai jamais vu ça. Tu parles d'un affaire, toi. On fait quoi avec ça? Autour d'un arbre, j'imagine. Comme un ruban autour d'un arbre? Oui. J'adore. C'est différent. Oui, c'est pas mal. Oui, oui, oui. Je vais ouais, le ouais. garder, mais mon mari a dit non. Non, c'est assez d'affaires. C'est assez d'affaires. Mm. Bon, ben, c'est moi qui vais l'avoir. Non, mais c'est pas ce qu'on a. Il m'a poigné un sac. Oui. Ok, t'es bien gentil. Tiens, je vais mettre ça avec, ça, ça aussi, je vais le prendre. C'est l'amour. Tu dis l'amour, celle-là? Je sais pas. Oups. Non, c'est. Oui, je pense que c'est des lames. Ah, oui, oui. C'est euh, Snowman. Ah, c'est ça. Ah, ça. Ok, 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 je comprends. Ah, ok, il y a une année dessus, l'an 2000. Ok. Elle va dans la boîte avec. La boîte avec. Ah, oh, ça? Non, c'est correct. C'est correct. Je vais garder la boîte. Ça va pas pour ça, je pense pas. Adorable, ça. Enfin, je vais prendre ça aussi. Oui, je te prends chercher. Je le mets ici, mais je te prends chercher mon papier d'emballage. Ah, ok, je vais juste.
Because they sell at Michael's for 75 Uh, This one, like the gold collection yeah. here. Oh, yeah, those are expensive. And I put them by size of finished product. So mm -hmm. the smaller ones are less. And, and see, you're going to finish with a, what size is it here? Size pop dudes. Size, what? Yeah, so, so. Size pop dudes. Oh, it's a menu. <laughs> So black on the top there. Combien qui sont les DVD? Un DVD. Ça, ça vient de me rappeler un souvenir comme imaginable. Ouf! La rue Boulevin. Oh my God. Old French shows I used to watch. Bon, j'étais où avec ça, là? <rire> T'as rendu à quoi, là? J'avais... Euh, excusez. Ça, c'était trois. Trois. L'Irlande, ici, là. Trois. OK. Six. Puis la tente, c'est comme deux. OK. Les Qui petits, était là, ouais. C'est ça. Les plus gros sont deux. Ça, ça c'est trois. Fait que ça fait trois, 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 puis deux. Ça fait huit. Trois, c'est huit. C'est huit. Ici. OK. Puis là, ça, c'était à vous aussi, ou c'était oh, qui, ouais, ça? Oui, c'est plus dans ça. Prendriez-vous 15 pour les trois? Euh, c'est euh, 10, 20, 30, euh, 20. 20 pour les trois, puis ça, c'est 8, ça fait 28? Oui. OK. Ça, c'est déjà une bonne idée, là. Oh, oui, oui. À vous. <rire> ça va être dans la même poche en train. Ah oui, c'est ça. Ça va être bien content. Merci, c'est parfait. Ça rentre-tu dans la même chose? Non, c'est pas grave, je vais le porter ouais. dans mes mains. C'est bon, c'est parfait. Okay, correct? Oui, oui, j'ai tout mon stock. Merci, là. Merci OK, bonne chance dans votre vente. Merci. How much for the um, bumble, uh, not bumblebee, the the red and black? Uh, um, five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah. Okay. And everything there is free. Everything there is free. <laughs> okay. Thank you.
Mm. How much do you want for this game? I don't know if the if you can kick with these off. Does it work? Can you kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we don't don't have the proper ball. Right? Oh, okay. I see. But how much yeah. is the price on that? Well, That's your dad. dad. Okay. And and this too. And this bowl here. I'm just going to leave it there for now. I'll just look at the stuff here. There, and then you go. Oh, nice. Okay. That's cute. It's just because it tangles. Yeah. If it's in the wind. That's really cute. That's in the f free pile? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Everything on this side, except the books. Except the books. Do we know if it works? Uh, I, we don't. don't. <laughs> we don't. Okay. But that's probably like close to 60 years old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I'd say it's a 1950s or 60s. Yeah. You're asking $20. Oh my god. <laughs> that is, yep. That's old. Oh. 
Both my uh, older daughters made that at school. The exact same thing. <laughs> I guess everyone did. <laughs> Hi everyone, so we're back home with the haul and before I go on with this haul, I just want to mention that uh, that Saturday um, there was another garage sale that was that I didn't go to right away because it started at 7 a.m. It's just a teeny weeny bit too early for me. So I said, okay, I'll do all my other garage sales and I'll circle back around and see if they have anything less, uh, left over. So I did that. And then um, when I finished all the other garage sales, I went by there, it was a little afternoon, and I noticed that they had packed up everything. Everything was gone, except at the curbside with a big sign that said, for re. And there were bicycles, skis, uh, skates, all kinds of sports stuff. And there was some clothes uh, and there was a box. There was not that big of a box, but it was a box, a Christmas box. And I peeked through it and I saw some things that looked quite interesting. So I didn't, you know, fiddle around. I just grabbed the box and I put it in my car. It's free. So I'm going to show you after the haul what was in that box. So let's start with that first garage sale. Um, it was a nice um, couple, two ladies, uh, French speaking, and um, th we were speaking French and English. I mean, people, they swing from, you know, French and English in my area. And, um, you yeah, know, we call it Franglish. We, we, sp we speak Franglish. <laughs> So there you go. So uh, this is the first thing that I grabbed. It is in the original box. It's the Avon Crystal Holiday Tree. And it is vintage from the early 1990s. It's in fantastic condition. Uh, you can't hear it here. It is crystal. So, and has this cute little uh, gold star on top. There's no chips, no cracks, has a base, and the base has lights. And I put bad reason, but one of the lights, the red one, is burnt, and that's okay because I will replace it. But you'll notice that the middle one will start flickering. Here we go, it flickers. So the two end ones stay put, and the one that flickers. So look at that, isn't that cute? You can't even see well because it's not dark enough but it's it's a very nice piece vintage avon so i'm very happy about that and then i also as you saw my excitement on <laughs> film this it, there's two of them and they're plastic beads and they're all wired to make this decoration which i've never seen before and the lady said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's to put around a tree as a ribbon. Oh, really? Okay. So that's really interesting. And I looked online. I couldn't find any other ones. So this is something, you know, like a little different that some people are looking for during Christmas time. Um, call it piece of conversation around the Christmas tree with eggnog. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so then after that, she had three bins, I think, of um, cross-stitch kits, all brand new. And uh, I was overwhelmed because I don't know anything about cross-stitching, but I know they sell well. So I looked through it and I just, you know, like grabbed a few that I like. So the first one is the gold collection from Dimensions. Sorry, my neighbor's dog is barking. You can, I don't know if you can hear it. Um, so the gold collection from Dimension, it's the Holiday Village. The finished product is 16 by 12. And it is a nice Christmas village with the church and it, there's a lot of work in there. Everything seems to be in there. There's a lot of colors. Oof. I don't have patience for this. I just don't. No, I don't. <laughs> the other one is also Christmas. It is uh, entitled Catnap Santa. And it's a square finish 14 by 14. And Santa is sleeping on the chair with the cats sleeping with him. It's so cute. I love cats. Can you tell? Um, and this one, uh, it's called Riolis or Riolis. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this one is the Russian version. Um, people that really know what they're doing, I don't think they really need to read instructions per se. So um, again, this is unfinished, undone. It hasn't been started. That's what I want to say. And again, little kitties sleeping on the couch. This finished product is 40 by 30 centimeters. That would be, I think, 16 by 12, something like that. And then this nice piece. This is a creation by the artist Amy Lacombe. And she's well known for making um, pieces with animals, cats or dogs mainly. And uh, she, it's really whimsical, like this one inside. Look, it's, it's all rainbow and the sweater is rainbow. And her um, pieces all have the same. The cat's mustaches are all pliable. They're wired and it has a little ball of ceramics at the end. And this one makes noise. So. I looked online, I could not find another one like that. I found lots of Amy Lacombe pieces, but none like this one. So, hmm, and there's no signature. That confuses me. Sometimes it's signed, sometimes it's a, a sticker, but I couldn't find it. So um, I'm not gonna price this right away. I'm gonna try to actually reach out to um, the company or the artist company to find out, first of all, if it really is her piece and um, what's the date, like how, how uh, old it is. So at the second sale, you saw me pick up the uh, soccer game, the small soccer game, and that's gonna go for my grandsons. But um, I saw this and the gentleman sold it for $3. So I was very happy about that. It very simple, nice looking. It has kind of a greenish, purplish, tint and certain lines and things. It's in very, very good condition. It's stone pottery signed, but I don't know which way to roll it, but I can't, I don't know the signature. I looked online, I tried to do a Google search, I couldn't find it, but it's very nice as uh, the inside too. has the same sort of lines with some green and deep purple and gray, has speckles, very nice looking. No chips either. There were two plates that were very interesting, but as you saw in the video, um, the first one, just the top one had three chips. The one underneath had a couple as well. So I pass. <laughs> I pass on that. And then there was uh, the little free pile there too. So I picked up this marionette, which is so cute. It's like a little Latin Mexican guy with his saxophone and he's <laughs> I love it I love it I love it so uh this too I'll put it on uh, on eBay I don't know if it's vintage I'll have to um look it up a little more to find out 
So now the, the free pile, this is the box. See, it was closed like that, Christmas box. And I opened it up. And first of all, on top of that, there was this. Looks like nothing. It's a Russell Stover tin, but I looked online and I can't find another one. And I mean, I looked and looked and looked and after half an hour of looking, I figured, hmm, we'll stop. It's nice and clean too. But you know, if you wanna make cookies for a Super Bowl or uh, even just bring candies at Christmas to someone who's a football fan, um, it's very, very nice condition. So I took a chance. I like it. I'm not a football fan. Well, I'm not a football fan, but I liked it. So in that box, there was this two-piece uh, pitcher in bowl, and it is marked "Made in Japan." It is imported by Giftcraft Canada and it's in very nice condition. It has a picture of a windmill and um, the design is nice. It has like a brick uh, motif at the back. You can see here, made in Japan. And the only thing I found that was, and it, that, it's not broken, it's not chipped or anything. The only thing I found was manufacturing uh, defect. defect. And it's inside here. See that line there? That's, that's the way it was made, the glaze that went over it. It's not a crack. That's really odd. But um, I thought, hey, it was free. So I took it. There was a couple more pieces similar to that one. There was um, a sugar bowl. It's not the same uh, motif at all. This one is uh, it's an Asian motif. And it says Royal Crown Derby. The inside too, very nice, clean. There's no crazing, there's no cracks or chips. And then there's seems to be a little um, milk, a creamer or something, but it's not the same pattern. Look at the top. The tops are not the same, the handles are not the same, so it's, they don't go together, but close enough. The only thing is I notice this is broken, but it is in very nice condition, also from Royal Crown Derby. And this sometimes can just be, you know, throw this away and just use as such. They will be listed separately because, well, yeah, because the handle's not the same. So I'm gonna have to list them separately or divulge the information on the listing. But again, for free. So I thought, marvelous. And this is nice, but it's broken. It is a silver, I know I should say, it is a Middle Eastern silver plated teapot. And this here is broken, it should be welded together. If someone wants to forgo this and use this, I'll put up on the screen some people that are very clever and have used this as a planter or in the kitchen for a boho look. They use that to put their uh, kitchen utensils, their spoons and uh, spatu spatula and that, that kind of stuff. And um, I, I've asked Google Translate and I've asked uh, my daughter to contact a friend who um, can read Arabic and we don't know for sure this is what's on the bottom and it kind of says you know this this piece is made by and then it's the name of a person but it doesn't say anything all other than that and but based on the look and the how used it is and on other comps online, this is silver plated. So I thought it was really, really cool. And um, again, it was free, yay. <laughs> so this is the haul for today. I was very pleased with what I found. It's not a big, huge thing, but 
Uh, next week, stay tuned. Like I mentioned in my last video, um, I went to a rummage sale. It is a community center rummage sale that happens only once a year uh, in uh, central Ottawa. And this, it was so busy. Whew. Uh, people shoveling and all that. But I managed to uh, get through that. And uh, we're going to have some good footage. And I'll show you what I picked up. Uh, next week uh, on the uh, on the next video. So with that, I will leave you today. And uh, as usual, if you enjoy my videos, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Comment below. I love to read your comments. And um, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in about a week's time with a new one. À la prochaine, tout le monde.